All right, natural logarithms. Natural logarithms, they are not, I repeat, not what you pick up after your dog when you take it out for a walk. Those are not the natural logs that we're talking about. We're talking about logarithms base E. Remember E, we talked about it last chapter in the exponential section. It was 2.71, yada, yada, yada. Log base E of something. The way we write that instead of log base E, because this is so important and so pivotal in some of the things that we do with exponential growth and decay and in the sciences, in finances, we've given this a special name. We use ln to denote log base E. So ln of E to the x, natural log base E, log base E of E, that cancels out. So natural log of e and e to the natural log are irrelevant to each other, and we just get x. They undo each other. Here, a to the x, I'm saying that that's the same as e to the x natural log of a. Well, let's look at that. We could take this and rewrite it as natural log of a to the x. And shaboom, there we go, a to the x. Um, use your calculator to write the following in form e to the k, where k is correct to four decimal places. So e to what power equals 50? e to the natural log of 50 equals 50. The e and the natural log make each other go bye bye. So let's go to our calculator. Let's figure out what the natural log of 50 is. And just like the log button, there is a natural log button. Notice it's right above e to the x because natural log does undo e to the x. So natural log 50. And for most of these, you better believe we're going to get decimals. So 3.912. Um, what did we want this to? How many decimal places? I forget. 3.912. Uh, four decimal places. So e to the 3.912 and the fourth one was 0. e to what power equals 0 0.005? e, that was supposed to be an e, e to the natural log of 0 0.005 is equal to 0 0.005. So again, calculator time. Natural log 0 0.005. Enter. Negative. There is the decimal I want. And there is my exponent. E to that power. And I guess we really should be writing approximately since we did round off what the exponent is. And that is definitely not the button I wanted to push. So let's just pause for a moment, collect ourselves, meditate, do what you do. But let's jump to the next page. Find x if natural log of x equals 2.17. Well, what's the base? The base is e. Logs are equal to exponents, so e to the 2.17 is equal to x. Let's jump to our calculator. e to the 2.17 is equal to, there's my answer. There's x. x equals 8.758284040074, yada, 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 continuing, continuing, going. Natural log of x equals negative 0.348. So this is base e. The exponent is negative 0.384. So 
So again, we go to our calculator. E to the negative 0.384. There we are. There we have it. X is equal to 0 0.68113142718, yada, yada, so on and so on. That's all it is. Same stuff. And guess what? There are laws for natural logs. And you might be saying, oh my gosh, more laws to remember. But guess what, guys? Those laws for x for exponents or laws for logs are for log base anything. And natural log is just log base e. So all, all three of those log laws from the previous section hold true. And from here on out, I hope that you treat this as a practice of your skills. We're going to look at some examples and you're going to be using the same skills that you did previously with the laws of logarithms. So I hope that you pause the video, try the example, restart it, pause it, restart it, pause it, restart it, and go through the video like that. So here we go. Three examples. I'm going to pause in between each so you can pause if you need to. Here we are. So this becomes natural log of 15. We take the 5 and the 3, multiply them together. Natural log of 3, 24 divided by 8 since we're subtracting. And here, this becomes natural log of 5 minus the natural log of e. The natural log of e is 1. So this becomes natural log of 5 divided by e. Next ones, use the laws to simplify this. All right, hopefully you gave them a try. Natural log of 49 minus natural log of 8. These combine together to become natural log of 49 over 8. Done. Part B, natural log of 8 because the 2, again, exponent, plus Natural log of what equals 3? Ooh, think time. Natural log of something equals 3. What's the base of this logarithm again? It's base e. So e cubed is going to be that. And I don't want to write a decimal. I'm just going to write e cubed. Taking e to the third power in your calculator doesn't really do us any good. We, we don't want just a decimal approximation. We'd rather keep it exact. So these two combine together to become the natural log of 8 divided by e cubed. And we are finished. Write these without logs. So give it a try. Just like before, we need to get log equal log. So on the right hand side, I've got to do some manipulation. Natural log of c squared plus natural log of e cubed natural log of a equals the natural log of c squared e cubed and now that we have log equal log a is equal to c squared times e cubed next one natural log of m equals natural log of a cubed minus natural log of e squared. Natural log of e squared is 2. Now we combine the right side. Natural log of m is equal to the natural log of a cubed over e squared. And now we have log equal log. The logs undo each other. They go away. We are left with m equals a cubed over e squared. You're going to see e is showing up a lot in these natural log problems. Get used to it. Don't bother reaching for your calculator to deal with this. The important thing to remember is that when you do use E in these things, it's a number. It's a constant, 2.71. It is not a variable. 